Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Calvin cycle. We're going to simplify this cycle by looking at the number of carbon atoms present in each molecule involved in the cycle. For the first step, RUBP, which is a five carbon molecule, reacts with carbon dioxide, which is a one carbon molecule. This part of the reaction is catalyzed by using the enzyme Rubisco. A point to note is that for any chemical reaction, the total number of atoms within the reactant or reactants must equal to the total number of atoms in the product or products. For this particular reaction, it requires three molecules of RUBP. Therefore, RUBP supply a total of 15 carbon atoms, which is five times three. In terms of carbon dioxide, there are three carbon dioxide molecules. Therefore, carbon dioxide supply a total of three carbon atoms. From this, we have a total of 18 carbon atoms. Now, point to note is that throughout the reaction or the cycle, we should maintain our 18 carbon atoms. From this first part of the reaction, it will produce a very short-lived six carbon molecule. So to maintain our 18 carbon atoms, we will require three six carbon molecules. So therefore, six times three, it is 18. From this short-lived six carbon molecule, PGA will be produced. And PGA is a three carbon molecule. Therefore, to maintain our 18 carbon atoms, we must have a total of six of these three carbon PGA. So therefore, three times six is 18 carbon. From PGA, we will produce BPG, which is another three carbon molecule. To maintain the 18 carbon atoms, we must have a total of six BPG. So therefore, three times six is 18 carbon. At this point, a single molecule of G3P or PGL will be produced. Remember, a single molecule of this three carbon molecule will be produced. Now, a single three carbon is pretty much half of a sugar or half of a monosaccharide. Now, the big question is, what happened to the remaining 15 carbon molecules or atoms? Now, the remaining carbon atoms will be used to regenerate RUBP. Remember, RUBP is a five carbon molecule. But there will be three of these five carbon molecules. So, the remaining carbon atoms, which is five of the three carbon BPG, will rearrange into three molecules of RUBP, and that accounts for the 15 carbon atoms. Now let's take a quick look at the abbreviations that were used throughout the cycle. And so RUBP, it is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. Rubisco is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. For PGA, or formerly 3PGA, it is 3-phosphoglyceric acid. For BPG, it is 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. For G3P, it is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. And for PGAL, it is phosphoglyceraldehyde. Now, I really thank you for watching this lesson, and I truly appreciate you. And I want you to remember that you need to learn 
as if you will live forever and live like you'll die tomorrow. And this is a quote from Gandhi. Have a blessed and wonderful day. See you soon.